In the heart of the French countryside stands an old abandoned villa hidden away from the prying eyes of the world. It has been decades since anyone has set foot inside and the cobwebs that adorned its grand entrance hint at the many secrets that lie within its crumbling walls. Curiosity beckoned us to venture into the forgotten home and as soon as we crossed the threshold, it was as if we had suddenly been transported back to a much simpler time in life. The air was filled with the musty scent of history and the antique furniture, old documents, and faded photographs that lined the rooms whispered tales of lost memories of once opulent family gatherings at the home. The tattered wallpaper and creaky collapsing floorboards bore witness to the footsteps of its long departed inhabitants. Each room held a treasure trove of forgotten belongings and we marveled at the intricate designs of the ornate furnishings and all that was left behind. As we wandered through the hallways, we couldn't help but to feel a sense of nostalgia from a time period that we had both never known. The old house had become a time capsule preserving both the grandeur and elegance of yesteryear. Oh, the roof's like yeah. all warped. Yeah. The support. This is all ruined. Right? Yeah. Somebody's been here not long ago. Trampled through. Yeah. go in? Yeah. It yeah. does? Like yeah. it goes up or into the house? It goes in. Okay. We just got into this pretty big abandoned chateau. And this one's been abandoned for a while. Part of the second floor is collapsing so we can only explore about four or five rooms here, but it has everything still left in here. It's a really cool one. So we're gonna go check it out. So as you can see, there's like, there's a bed right here in the hallway with a bunch of chairs and junk thrown on it. You can tell this house has been abandoned for a very long time probably 15, 20 years. I'm sure we'll find some stuff that has some dates and maybe try to put together the story of who lived here. But as you can see, this is the dining room. Look at the cobwebs. That would hold candles. There's the grandma. Look at this decay on the table from all the ceiling coming through. Look at that. Wow, oh, look at those photos. Those aren't too old, maybe 90s, early 90s. This looks like a safe, yeah. Is that the key on the ground to the safe? <laughs> Probably. Whew. Loaded with documents.
Doesn't look like much anyways. Look at this cabinetry over here. It's got the shield. The clock is still hanging on the wall. Look how decayed these photos are. You can't even see them anymore. Look at all the dishes and glassware, tea kettles, plates. Yes. Just found a bunch of old family photos. These are always cool to look through and see. Here is the liquor cabinet. When we first walked in, there's like this wine room with a bunch of wine bottles. I'll, I'll go get some footage and show you guys that eventually. They were big into drinking, that's for sure. They like to enjoy a drink. I think, yeah, the wine cellar is actually down there in the basement. There's a bunch of trophies. Yeah, 96. Looks like that one is. old newspaper. Wow. This is insane. Wow. December smacking her or something. That one's got a dog in it. Look at that. Two musicians up there playing a flute. That's wild. Lots of mold back there behind that. Look at this dude. More pilgrim. Rosé? Shotgun shells. That's promising. Aunt Jemima. Look at the silver. I wonder if that's real. That's the dining room. Pretty much. And we're gonna keep it moving throughout this place now let's go see what else is here so this room is really cool check out this baby carriage
It's an old desk. It's so cool seeing all the old skeleton keys laying around these houses in France. I used to love finding them. I'll be honest. I did take a few skeleton keys. I'm not even going to lie and say I never did. But I probably haven't took one in about four or five years. Really since Becca passed away. I haven't took anything. Um, but Becca used to love finding old skeleton keys. Especially if it was a hospital or a prison. It's the only place you would find a skeleton key in the United States. Look at all the decay on the books. And the cross there. <laughs> Not much in these ones. There's a photo. Oops, geez. Photos, though. Oh, yeah, there's a photo in that drawer. Envelopes. These are all rotting away. Magazines and books just rotting away. It's like an old radio up there of some sort. Books haven't been touched in so long. La Doctrine Catholique. Yeah, definitely some religious folk. A picture on the ground of a little girl. It's old TV. Old school TV. So grand piano. Wonder if that was the wife that once lived here. Doesn't work anymore. As you come out of this living room type area come over here we have another piano not much else in this room though Let's see if this one works Some old china. Got a stove over here. That's a little weird. There's a stove over here. Little kid's height chair. Look at this old vacuum. That is an old vacuum right there. This right here is the kitchen. And it is hit. 
it's completely collapsed. That's the second floor that fell in down here. It's an old TV. Of course, we got to break the urbex rule of do not open the fridge. Oh, that is disgusting. That's why you don't open the fridges. Oh, that was so nasty. This always blows my mind when there's a picture still hanging on the wall. But yet, the entire room is collapsed. That picture's just hanging on by a little nail and a string. It's wild. Here's a pantry, and it still has a bunch of food in it. All of those jars back there, that is disgusting. I can't really go in there and see. I'm not trying to climb on all that to get a close up of those jars, but you can see it's all the food is still in them. All right, so now we're gonna go upstairs. There's a couple bedrooms up here. This first one's really cool. This house has incredible decay. Look at this room. Like how cool is that? Fireplace heater thing. Mirrors. It hasn't been used in forever. The wallpaper. And religious stuff. This is so cool, these old trunks and suitcases. And the old, looks like old wrought iron bed. hanging super cool shoes a pocketbook and brush like a class or something. Oh no, it's a wedding. Yeah, it's a wedding photo. No wonder if it was the occupants of the house's wedding. Fixture. The cord. Uh, looks like this was a little room at one point, but 
it's seen better days. It's collapsing. Still a little bed. <clears throat> Big armoire. There's so many of these armoires in these places. Look at this one. Still got all of the jackets. Looks like coats. And looks like a vest in there. That is cool that they're all still in here. There's even like a brush down there and a handbag. Wow, that's cool. Old horse saddle. Things falling apart. The leather's all broke on it. I think that's the saddle. Got some trinkets on the uh, dresser here. Some old vintage furniture. Got a date. 1958. That's wild too. And the photo. Wonder if that was taken here. Pocketbook, 1976. It's all written into. Look at that. Nineteen fifty-six. Written in again. Look at that. Crazy. Wow. Look at these. Well, the wallpaper is just peeling onto the ground. This place has been abandoned a long time. Yeah, I got some mold up there too. Not too bad, but... Gosh. Look at this wallpaper. Coming down. Fraying from the edges. Dark room. <clears throat> Very dark room. Maybe I can open these. Hooked up top, yeah. I'd have to unlock that. Look at the hidden door. To what, the bathroom? No, just a closet. Atlantic. Handwritten notes all over that too. And the wallpaper just continues to melt away in here. The fireplace. And the Italian boat. Molded books, cologne, and more of these like adventure books. Another little room back here, closet full of stuff. That's wild. And that is not 
not been used in a long time. Oh, you can see the old wallpaper behind it. like random pictures on the wall, all crooked. Pillow top mattress. That bed frame is so old. And this leads to the attic and the ruins part. see here looks like an old wine rack in there maybe a bed I got a calendar on the wall you can see straight down and look at the back down there it's all collapsed in let's see what's up in this attic area like this old chest and then the, the whole entire house is collapsing up here there is a room up here though wow that's nuts I don't know if you guys can see but there's a bed through there it's all empty I'm not going through there because that don't look that good Let's go back downstairs. Step on them all. I don't want to break them, but look at that. These are all old wine bottles. Jeez. Definitely more in there. It's just so wild to see it like that. I just have to cross over all these wine bottles. Look. That's the way we come and go. 
out the window. Exterior, Fran's got the drone up in the air. Well, it's starting to get dark out. This is the exterior, it looks so plain and dull. And it's so cool in there. I mean, like you would just drive by this and be like, ah, it ain't nothing, you know. Can't be anything that cool. Especially when most of this is just ruins. But the house is amazing. The old abandoned villa had provided us a glimpse into a world that seemed lost to the new modern age, and it was an experience that we will both never forget. And that will take us to the end of today's video on the Abandoned Villa Time Capsule. We want to thank everyone for tuning in and watching another video from Abandoned Central. For more photos from this location and our other ones, make sure you check out our website at AbandonedCentral.com. And don't forget, subscribe to Abandoned Central on YouTube so that you get all the latest and greatest content. And one more important thing, if you want to help support us in creating these videos, please consider donating by clicking the Super Thanks link next to the download icon. Even if it's just a dollar, we greatly appreciate it. Thank you again, everyone. Until next time.